Hi, I'm Dan at Treetop Builders, and I'm excited to be a part of the Treehouse Project at the Museum of Life and Science. The exhibit is a series of treehouses and platforms, all connected by various styles of bridges. When it's done, there's going to be a hundred kids climbing through the forest, interacting with and experiencing the trees in a whole new way. The process of designing this treehouse started in the spring of 2013 with a conceptual design created by the museum staff. I was brought on site last summer to assess the trees and determine the overall project feasibility. Then I contacted Charlie Greenwood, the world's most innovative and experienced treehouse engineer, to calculate the various vertical and horizontal loads on each of the platforms. Treehouse engineering for commercial projects requires a thorough finite element analysis to precisely calculate the forces on each tree and ultimately to ensure public safety under extremes of possible conditions. Each point of attachment must be designed to resist all dead and live loads, but also minimize biological disruption of the tree's natural processes. We were in a hurry to install this hardware before spring so that the trees would have a full season of growth to support the new hardware in place before load testing. So we traveled seven hours down to Durham, North Carolina in early March, only days after the hardware finished production and shipped to the museum. Had we delayed just a few more weeks, these trees would have been bursting to life with buds opening and juices flowing. It's best to get all the hardware in the tree before that happens. The life of a traveling treehouse builder is not without challenges. 35 degrees and raining after an ice storm is a significant impediment to progress. We tried to set up rain shelters to work under, but to no avail. We were soaked and cold and wanted to go home. This is our first morning on the project, and as you can see, it's not really conducive to getting a whole lot done. Everything is soaked already, our, from our boots to our clothes, everything, we're all soaked. Today it's supposed to get up to 60 mile an hour winds, so it's not really safe for us to blow. But here's our project over here. We've got eight different platforms that are all going to be connected by different kinds of bridges. And this week our main plan is just to mark all the elevations and get the fastener points set. And then we will come back when the weather's a little nicer and start building the platforms. So day one was cut short. But thankfully, the rest of the week was clear, sunny, and warm, and we got a lot done. The first challenge to overcome before any bolts were installed in the trees was reconciling some of the differences between the engineering elevations and some field measurements marked on the plans. We took the time to make sure that we picked the best possible starting point and then marked all of the fastener locations precisely on each tree. This project called for cutting edge tapered XL fasteners. We were beta testing the pre-bore and installation methods for Greenwood Engineering since this was the first time anyone has installed them besides their own in-house testing. We used a 750 foot-pound torque gun to spin them into the tree with a 10-foot pipe for leverage. The drill weighed 65 pounds, so we set up separate rigging to hold the weight of the drill. We tested the hardware on a practice tree, which was already marked by the client for removal. On the third day, we began installing the final fasteners for the tree houses. So this is a new cutting system that the engineer has developed and we are going to test it on this tree that is going to be removed anyway. We're donating it to science. But we're going to do two test holes for the two different testing methods and decide which we're going to use for the rest of the project. Ready? Ready. for the motor 
to bog down. What? Okay, we just set up two lines here so we can measure the angle of the bridges from the A3 platform over the A5. been focusing on installing the XL minis all around the project and we've been through the B2, B3 and we're about to put two minis into B1 and that will be it for the minis and we'll have four XLs over on B4 and then that's all we can do today till we get more hardware tomorrow. Last day, we constructed some wooden 2x4 boxes to mark the precise field alignment of the fasteners. The goal was to make sure that the steel platform frames were built within an acceptable tolerance when fitted in place during phase two of the project next fall. 